What's up, everybody? Me, Jason, again, and uh, yet another guitar. That's right, two in one day here. Uh, today I'm talking about one you don't see all the time. And uh, it's a very, very, very nice guitar. I've never heard of it, and I uh, picked it up uh, in a trade. Um, I traded that EC256 ESP that I had for this straight up, and I think I won the battle on this one. Um, this is an Alex Chase AC911 Cobra. Um, I've also heard it called the Venom model. Um, a little backstory here Alex Chase was a company out of Nashville, Tennessee, burnt to the ground four or five years ago, um, maybe 2008, 2009, somewhere in that neighborhood they burnt down. Um, never to make another guitar again. Um, the guitars were made in Korea, I believe, and just sold in the U.S. Um, it's got some awesome features, and I'm going to get up close and show you a lot about this guitar. And uh, see what y'all think about it, and then we'll play it and go through the sounds on it, okay? Alright, so Alex Chase. You can see right here on the headstock, it says Alex Chase in Albalone. Spared no expense on this guitar, I promise you. Um, the satin hardware is very nice. Get your backside here. Just the uh, closed tuners. Nothing, nothing fancy there. Um, it's got a serial number right here. You're not going to find any information on these guitars, by the way. <laughs> Very little. I found out they burned to the ground. That's about how good it was. Um, ebony fretboard. Awesome. Like I said, spared no expense. Um, maple neck. And the maple neck runs all the way through the body. One solid piece of wood. It goes all the way through the body. I'll show you the back side here. You can see it. It goes all the way through. It is sandwiched by walnut on top for the look. And alder, you can see on the sides here, in the middle. Um, don't know what brand pickups these are, but humbucker, single humbucker set up. Um, Albalone dot inlays, you can see all the way down the fretboard here. Um, the nice, nice Cobra emblem right there in the middle. Um, I'm a Mustang man, so that works. Uh, licensed Floyd Rose Tremolo. And the satin hardware goes all the way through. Um, Five-way switch. And that's about it. I mean, the guitar is nice and heavy. And uh, listen to this. You can hear the springs vibrating. That tells you there's a lot of tone in this guitar as far as the wood goes. So if you did change out the pickups, it would get even better. So I'm going to back up and play it through some sounds, a little clean and a little distortion. And just give y'all an idea of what this thing sounds like, okay? Alright, so we're going to go through a little bit of the sounds on this guitar. And give you an idea of what, what each pickup sounds like. And we'll start off with the bridge doing a little strumming. And doing a little bit of picking out and a uh, little lead on and just clean right now. Here we go.
I just need to set it up a little more like that. That's what I was talking about. See, it went out of tune right there. Um, I might can play with it a little bit. But uh, either way, man, I mean, you could change that out very easily and get a real Floyd Rose uh, and they put on there, and I bet it would sound phenomenal. Uh, so, I mean, all in all, man, this guitar rocks, and uh, I think I made a very good deal on this, and I can live with that, and just using it for its pure tone alone, and have a good time with this guitar. Um, I mean, as far as what I would rate this guitar, I mean, the action is amazing, the features are amazing on this guitar. I mean, the potential is there for a guitar that could sound like it costs well over a thousand dollars. The quality of the workmanship is phenomenal. You could probably change out this hardware, and the, the, the tuner seem to do pretty good, but uh, change out this Floyd Rose for a, a, this licensed one for a, maybe a, a real Floyd Rose, or, a, or maybe like one off the Jackson, or, a, or an Ibanez, anything like that, and you could, you could definitely kill it. Uh, the neck has an awesome profile on it, uh, almost like a wizard neck, uh, real, real fat feel to it. Uh, all in all, I mean, as far as my rating goes for this guitar, I'm going to give it a 9. Uh, phenomenal workmanship here. Just leaves a little to be desired with this tremolo, and that is it. That's the only reason it's not getting a 10. The pickups sound pretty good for not even knowing what brand they are, and I'm hoping that I can put some information out about this guitar so that people will find these things and buy them because they are phenomenal instruments. I hope you've learned something today and I hope you think that uh, Alex Chase isn't just one of those brands that you can go, oh whatever, I'm not going to pick that up because I've never heard of it. No, if you find one, grab it. You will not, and I repeat, you will not be disappointed in this. So, hope everybody enjoys. Subscribe. Something. Just enjoy this stuff, man. I'm going to keep pumping out these reviews as long as I can keep getting new gear in here. And uh, I constantly buy and sell guitars, so there's no telling what I'll have next. So, y'all have a good day.